What's good y'all? In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you what I have in my barber station here at the shop. I'm gonna be going down from clippers, shears, uh, brushes, everything you could think of that would be in a barber station, I'm gonna be going through. So whatever it is, brushes, shears, what have you, I'll tell you where I got it from, who makes it, and what I use it for. I know for a while now, in a lot of my vlogs, I've been saying I was gonna do a barber station video. So today, here's the video. Um, I apologize for it being so long for it to come out, but now we're about to get into it. But before I get started, if you're not subscribed to the channel, hit that subscribe button, smash that like button, and let's get into it. First and foremost, we'll go ahead and get started with the clippers that I do have at my station. So I'm gonna first start off by showing you the Andis Slimline Pros, which is the only Andis clipper that I have. So that's gonna be these ones right here. These ones right here, I generally use for designs um, because it's very light, very maneuverable in your hands, very sharp edges, um, very clean lines that it produces. Um, I would highly suggest that anybody get this clipper. They do have the more updated version, which is the Slimline Li. But me personally, I really don't care for the Slimline Li because to me it feels very generic, very cheap. The type of plastic it's made from. This right here is heavier in your hands, and that's one thing I do like about clippers is the heaviness that it is in your hands. Now I'm not talking heavy like the Masters or the Seniors because those do get heavy after long usage. But I would suggest the Slimline Pros. These are the only clippers that I have that are zero gapped. And it also comes with the uh, the charging dock here. As you can see, there's a little LED light right there. So once you put this into the charger, LED light comes on, showing you that you are charging your clippers. So those right there, like I said, and the Slimline Pros. I got these at Sally's, but if you're buying clippers, I suggest that you buy it online. Me personally, I just buy it at Sally's because I hate to wait for those boxes to get to my doorstep. I'm a very impatient person when it comes to waiting on things. So I personally like to buy things up front. Um, but if you were to buy clippers, I suggest that you buy online. You can go through sites like Amazon, Atlanta Barber Supply, and just Google Barber Supply online. Now the next clipper that I will show you is the first expensive clipper that I bought. When I was in school, I was using the Taper 2000, which is a, a lower class uh, wall clipper that they have. It comes in a little two pack with a T trimmer. But once I was able to get my own clippers, I did buy the, the Wall Senior, which is this. Very powerful clipper. A lot of people use detachables to get bulk off. A lot of people have 76s or BGRCs and stuff like that. For me personally, I think that the walls uh, the Wall Seniors do a great job of taking bulk down. I don't really use it to fade much. I just use it just to get bulk out. But these are some good clippers. I uh, put out a lot of blurry fades with this at the end of my time in school. In the first uh, few months in the shop, I would say. Um, I was using these and I was using some cordless designers at the time. And also some heroes. But my heroes busted on me. The designers I sold to another guy in the shop. And I still got these though because these are... These are great. They are a little heavy, and after a little bit of usage, they do uh, weigh, weigh on you, but I mean, overall, great clipper. Now, my favorite clipper at the moment um, is gonna be the Cordless Wall Five Star Magic Clips. Now, these are here are corded or cordless use. This one still has the original stagger tooth blade, which a lot of people say that they don't care for, but personally, I like the stagger tooth blade. I put out a lot of blurry fades with that. Um, as you can see, I got the Tune 45 sticker on there. Shout out to the movement, shout out to Chris Basio and the whole Tune Squad doing their thing. But move on with the, the clipper. These are very lightweight. I think they're, in my opinion, they're better than the designers. I know a lot of people say that the motor is the same in both the clippers, but I like the design on the Magic Clip more than the designers. So this is my go-to clipper all the time. I use it every day. Um, it's probably getting a lot of wear on it and I'll probably have to buy another one pretty soon. I do want to get a hold of the cordless seniors, but I don't think that's going to happen anytime soon. But once I do see some available, I will try to hop on that as much as I can. I got to see the cordless seniors at the Chris Basio Look and Learn and they feel great in the hand. They're, they're sturdy, they're heavy, not too heavy, just enough heavy. And the motor just sounds amazing. Very powerful clipper, it sounds like. Now, the next clipper I'm gonna get into is gonna be the wall detailer. Now, after my heroes busted, I grabbed the detailers here. And um, I like these a lot. It has the T-blade on it. Um, as you can see, the wall five-star T-blade. Um, these are not zero gapped. I did adjust them when they came out the box, but I didn't zero gap them all the way. I have a lot of clients who are elderly. I have a lot of clients who are kids. So if you've been cutting for a while, you know that those types of clients have very soft skin, very sensitive skin. So zero gap in your clippers would not be the best idea. 
I used to have some TL liners, but a guy that worked with us a few weekends at the shop jacked me for them, jacked my boss for them. He said he was gonna skeletonize them, which basically is modifying them to take off the, the front bulky part, cut it down with a, a Dremel or something. But ended up taking our clippers and never giving them back. But I do miss my tail liners, and I am planning to get some very soon. But again, with those, hopefully, 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 I can get a hold of the cordless T outliners, which just dropped not too long ago. Moving on to the next clipper, we have the Wall Five Star Shaver. Very powerful shaver. I just bought a new foil. If you watched the last vlog that I put out, I just bought a new one when I went to Sally's. This clipper right here is corded and uncorded. You can use it either way. Uh, that's what I really like about a lot of the clippers that come out now is that you can use them corded and uncorded. I use this, you know, for your bald face, cleaning up the neck, for kids, if you're edging up kids. So you, after you do the detail, you go over your work with your shavers. Any um, shadow or that you see, you can knock out with these. And this is what I start my bald fade with is this. If my client doesn't request a razor for his bald fade, I would always use the shaver um, and it will get it completely bald. In my opinion, I think it gets the hair balder than a razor. So I don't have many clippers. Those are just what I use here at the shop. Very essential clippers, I would think. I use all of them every day. Um, so moving on from that, I have my blow dryer here, which is a necessity in the barber industry today. If you don't have a blow dryer, you're a little bit behind. And uh, so hop on the bandwagon, get you a blow dryer. And also I got a concentrator right here. Throw that onto the uh, the hair dryer and you can concentrate the area of hair that you're trying to get get dry. So when you're using a hair dryer without the concentrator, generally you're gonna be trying to dry out bulk. But when you put the concentrator on, just like it says concentrator, you're concentrating on one area. Now this is a little ghetto, but what my hair dryer is sitting in is a little bathroom rack that I got at Walmart. This little rack was like, I wanna say like 298. But I was looking for something for my hair dryer to sit in and I found this at Walmart. So if you can make your life easier in your station, a lot neater. I like organization and neatness, so this just helps out a lot. Just set the hair dryer in there and you're good to go. Now moving on to other stuff that I have. I have the uh, premium guards, the wall premium guards. Got the one and a half here, which is essential. I got the half and I broke my number four. So I have a regular number four, but I love these guards. These, these are really, really, really great guards. And I'm gonna show you why. Um, so if you see on here, these guards have the metal clip. If you look at the regular wall guards, they're just complete plastic. But these have that little metal clip on there and they clip onto the clipper just great. And it's sturdy. It's not moving around. If you don't have the wall premium guards, I would definitely get the wall premium guards. Um, I personally don't like the plastic, especially with the one and a half and the half guard. They always, always rattle with the plastic guards. So the next item I'm going to show you here at the station is going to be the uh, the curl sponge. I have a lot of clients with uh, very curly hair. That type of haircut with the curls on the top is really blown up. A lot of athletes, football players, uh, basketball players. I know uh, Westbrook used to be rocking the the faux hawk with the curl the curl sponge curls on the top. Odell Beckham was rocking his um, signature haircut as well. And a lot of those are styled with this curl sponge. Now, a lot of people get sucked into the trap of buying these very expensive. They'll buy it at Sally's for like, it's $19.99 at Sally's. And they'll go online and buy them for like 10 bucks and over. I got mine on Wish, which is this, the cheapest app that you could ever get into. But I got it on Wish for two bucks. So, and, and it works great. It works just like some of the other people in my shop. They have uh, a different type of brand, supposedly higher quality, but it puts out the same work. Now, the next thing I'm gonna show you is gonna be the uh, the biohazard container that I have, which I use for all my razors. Um, I would pop this open, but I really don't know how. But anyways, if you see in there, yeah, you can see. Those are nothing but used razors right here. Um, I never, ever, I never, ever, ever, use the same razor on two different clients. Every client that I get, gets a new blade. I just don't like to cross contaminate like that. A lot of barbers, they are risque and like to do stuff like that. But myself, I'm about cleanliness and new razor for every client. Now we're gonna open the bottom here and I have uh, clipper boxes. I have cleansing alcohol in bulk. This right here, I get at Sally's. It's a cleansing alcohol. It's a uh, cherry scented. We call it here at the shop, the cherry bomb. We sanitize every client with the uh, the cherry alcohol. 
and the clients love it. And I got a, a box of Sanic strips. And uh, if you worked in the barbershop long enough, you know that a lot of people come through selling stuff. And I got sucked into buying some uh, knockoff cologne that I don't even use. It says, not for haters. But uh, yeah, I got that sitting down there. This right here is just an assortment of brushes I have. I don't really use these, that's why they're down here. They kind of just chill down here, and, and unless I really need to use them. Um, but other than that, we got the junk drawer here. Got a watch in here, some earphones, a book, um, allergy relief, which is needed in Amarillo. It's so dusty and windy here. Uh, a lot of people always got a cold. I got the, the little uh, Halls breezers on deck. Also, I got the, um, these are the single magnetic guards, one through four. I got single and then five through eight, I got double. They were a gift from my cousin who cuts hair as well. Um, have a lot of brushes, cleaning brushes rather for the clippers. Just random brushes to clean up the clippers. Uh, nothing in that drawer. Oh, I've been looking for this. I, you have no idea how long I've been looking for this, but I finally found it. This is for the uh, the iPhone 7 and 8. They changed the lighting ports on those in the iPhone 6, so I've been needing this. Moving on, I'm gonna look in this top drawer right here. And uh, in this drawer, I'll give you a little look inside what it looks like. But I'll go ahead and pull out everything individually. So I uh, got a brush right here. For I got a lot of ethnic clients, so you know, always, always brush the hair before you cut it. Constantly be brushing as you fade as well. And I got two types. This side is a, a less coarse and this side is a more coarse. Good to have. I have the uh, the round brush, which is used for a lot of styling to curl the hair, give the hair a lot more volume while you're blow drying. Uh, have your flat top comb, which I use a lot. A lot of people, I have a lot of clients that want flat tops and ask for flat tops. So this is a good thing to have, clipper over comb. <clears throat> also got this silk comb. If you watch the vlog, you've seen when I got this and the round comb. But uh, this is a silk comb. This portion of the comb is used for parting. Just an overall good comb to have. Also got just a regular old comb that you can get at Walmart. Got a pick, of course. If you got a lot of ethnic clients, you're gonna need a pick. Pick out the hair, afros, faux hawks, what have you. Also got a, a rat tail comb. Uh, just another multi-purpose comb. Like I said about organization, I love organization. So I just set everything in here and that's where it sits in the drawer. So that right there is all the combs. Now next, I have this um, this blood clotting spray right here. Basically, if you nick somebody, which it happens, nobody's perfect, everybody messes up. If you nick somebody, this will hurry up and uh, clot the blood from wherever you cut the person at. So that works really good. I also got a Metaban Instant Bandage. Kind of the same thing, but this just keeps a liquid band-aid on the cut. So I'll use the uh, blood clotting and then I'll use the Instant Bandage. And I have used those a few times, I will be honest. But uh, next, you have your duster, of course. So I also got the Continuous Spray Water Bottle. Uh, got the Johnny B uh, Gel. I did have a huge, huge tub. But I already ran out of that. Uh, of course, got the 245 shave gel, which I need to re-up on. Um, and this right here, I have the, uh, the cherry alcohol that I showed you from the bottom drawer. That's the cherry alcohol. Got your uh, cool care. If you're a barber, you must have your cool care. I also got the uh, oil sheen. Now after every one of my haircuts, I put the oil sheen on there because it really brings out the fade. It really brings out tapers. It really brings out any any bit of the haircut you just did. Oil sheen will bring that haircut and make it pop so that your client can see that. Also, I use the oil sheen because I take pictures after a lot of haircuts and this really makes the fade pop in the camera. Of course, you have your uh, talc powder. I really don't use it a lot. I wanna get into using it a lot. It just gives that old school vibe to the haircut, to the barbershop. Smells good, of course. I also have this aftershave lotion that you can get at Sally's. Um, I mix this in with my water. A lot of the clients, they love that old school barbershop smell. And then of course, you have your barber side. I have my uh, 
American Crew Fiber. I just got this. I'm not really fond of it, honestly, or maybe I just haven't really learned how to use it much, but I got this at Armstrong McCall and uh, probably not gonna use it much because I really don't like it. And then I have the baby brush here. So what I'd use this for is that as I'm fading, I brush the hair off while I'm fading. This right here, the bristles are not extremely coarse, so it's very soft on the skin. Just like the reason why I don't zero gap clippers. A lot of clients that I have have sensitive skin, I have elderly clients, I have, um, I have kids. And having this baby brush makes it a lot easier because you won't irritate their skin and redden their skin as you're fading it. So it just keeps everybody happy. And like I said, I love organization. So you can see I have everything sitting in this. I also got this little container here from Walmart. It's like three bucks, but uh, I play guitar. So there's a random guitar pick in there. Um, a lot of samples that I have collected from Johnny B. Just uh, samples right here. Haven't used any of these really yet, but I, I will use them. I have an extra, I have an extra T wide blade right here. And I'm gonna throw that on some sidekicks probably that I wanna buy, they're like $30 trimmers, cordless trimmers. And I wanna see how it, it is with the T blade on it. I got your razors. I got the derbies right here. Um, I'm not really fond of the derbies, but it's all they have at Sally's. Like I said, I don't like to order online. So I like what I can get right then and there. Also inside here, I got my business cards. I'll let you take a peek at this. So here's my business card, Executive Barbershop, Nico Jessup. Got my social media information on here, which is crucial. And I'll explain that in another video on how social media can help you out gaining clientele. But got the address, phone number on there. Always be reachable if you're trying to get clients. And also got the multicam background with the razor. I am a vet. Uh, I was prior Air Force, five years, uh, three tours overseas. So I like the whole multicam vibe we got going there. And I threw that on my business cards. Moving on to the next thing, I got the clips here. Always gotta have the clips on deck. A lot of clients nowadays are having the long hair. So this is very crucial in separating the hair as you cut it, separating the long hair from the short hair. And just another type of clip used for that as well. And at the bottom, last but not least, we have the texturizing shears here very cool color i got there i really don't know what type of shears these are because i got these as a gift from the uh director of the school i was at and i also have the the regular shears here next your razor holder so it's just your typical razor holder that you can get over at sally's um nothing special about that this is a cool one that i got from a guy who uh Oh, I'd take that out of there. I got this from a guy who sharpens blades, sells shears and all that. He sold me this uh, razor holder here. What I like about this one is that, so you move this piece right here and then you can lift that portion right there. Then you just throw your blade in here, pop it back down and lock it. So I like that right there. That, this is my, this is my go-to razor that I use. So there's the uh, overall view of my station. All the clippers, all the uh, accessories over there. Got the mirror hanging up there. Also have the Johnny B cape, camo of course, got the Sanex strip holder, and last but not least, got my license chilling up there. Well, there you have it. There's my barber station. I've been waiting a while to put that video out, so it's finally out now. I appreciate everybody watching the video, taking the time out to check out my barber station. If you have any questions, drop them down in the comments section. If you liked the video, smash that like button. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, hit that subscribe button, and as always, thank you for watching.